Hello. Today we're going to talk about Chrome, specifically as it pertains to Maya. Yet these basic principles and information will help you if you're going to draw, a sketch, or you know if you're preparing any kind of items for maybe a, a visual development um, project or something of that sort. Um, first, we'll talk about a little bit of, you know the basic information. A chrome plating is a process in which the element chromium is electroplated onto a metal object. The element chromium itself, uh, number 24 in the periodic chart, is an element with high luster. It's known for its hardness and corrosion resistance. Um, a couple different types of chromium that's used in this process. Hexavalent chromium, uh, which uses chromium trioxide. And trivalent chromium, which uses chromium sulfate or chromium chloride as the main ingredients. A couple different types of chrome that are created are decorative chrome, which as the name implies, uses um, chrome plating for decoration. Um, and hard chrome, which also as the name implies, is used for its durability, um, its strength, corrosion resistance, and it also helps with friction. So things like ball bearings. Um, the process which chrome is plated onto an object, um, it's generally about an eight step process, but some places use a little less or a little more. First step would be evaluating the part that's going to be used um, and then it goes on to that part that once it's evaluated then it's going to get stripped down from everything that's on you know right down to the bare metal um, after that it's going to get polished and at this stage that's kind of where they see if there's any defects in it because uh, a simple little defect can really ruin a part once it's uh, chrome plated um, fourth step is preparing it to the hang because as it as you can see in the picture it gets dunked down into that tank um, and that's how the electroplating process happens um, and then it's after that it's, um, it's cleaned again um, because as I said it's really important that there's no dust or any kind of particles on it um, and then step six is the copper plating process um, and, the, and the plating process is actually three different materials used there's copper um, and then step seven nickel which is actually where you get most of your lust luster on the chrome piece and then step eight is the the, pl the plating in chrome itself um, some of the a basic scene in Maya um, contains pretty much all, we're talking about just something simple so I have a light and we'll have a chrome object uh, with a little bit of a, a background um, so, so we're saying we're using a, a spotlight here are some of the attributes that you could expect to use and this happens you know this is I mean this is kind of similar to what you'd see with sunlight as well you have the intensity which is the amount of photon energy. You have the light decay, which is it pretty much states that a light's brightness is strongest at the light source and decreases as it gets further away from the light. The decay rate um, controls how quickly the light's intensity decreases the distance. So if you kind of think of a spotlight um, going into the distance, you kind of see it kind of die out in the distance. Um, the cone angle, which is the angle between the edge to edge of the spotlight's beam. The penumbra. Um, which is the angle from the edge of the spotlight's beam to which intensity of the spotlight falls from zero to, or from literally to zero, I guess you should say. And then you have a drop off, which controls the rate at which the intensity decreases from the center of the edge to the spotlight beam. Um, a little bit about a, a basic chrome shader that you might be using in Maya. And these same principles apply to if you're drawing it as well. Um, you have incandescence, which is kind of like maybe the object kind of looks like it's glowing. Um, you have the eccentricity, it controls how big your specular highlights are. So if you think about drawing, it's going to be the, the point of the sphere where it's got the highest, you know, the, the highest value. Specular roll off, the ability of the surface to reflect its surroundings, um, which as you know, chrome is very reflective and that's just how it, you know, the higher the, the roll off, the better it's going to be able to re reflect its surroundings. Reflectivity, it's kind of like a mirror, um, and then the reflected color, um, and so that's pretty much the basic information about that. So if you here here are uh, two sets of pictures. The one on the right is uh, something. Uh, these three here are something I rendered. Um, this last image is something I I grabbed off the internet. Um, but if you could look at the chrome here, you can see how well it's reflecting its its surroundings and even the the rims here reflecting the road, um, the bumper reflecting the light and all that, which is really similar to the real pictures where you've got the the bumper reflecting the road, the the rims are reflecting the the road. Uh, if you compare these two rims here, they look really similar. You got the same type of uh, drop offs. Um, the the pipes, it's got that really strong uh, drop off there. Um, 
so that's pretty much it about Chrome. So those basic those basic facts and attributes are something that really pertains to both Maya and in real life. Thank you.